Poppin' Games here for another unboxing. Today we have for you Ragnarok Odyssey Ace for the PS Vita and the PS3. The PS Vita, as you can see, is a launch edition. It is rated T for teen. And the publisher is by uh, XC Games. Taking a look at the back here. Uh, looking at the Vita first, it is a one player game, infrastructure players, 2 to 4 co-op, and you require 2,200 kilobytes. Cross-platform play with the PS3 is compatible, and also touch screen. Just reading a little bit from the back, the fight continues, the, war the warriors of Rune Midgard have turned back invaders before, but new giants now threaten their homeland. Select from six unique job classes and the wealth of upgraded features such as powerful new ace skills, customizable weapons, and AI mercenaries to assist in solo play, or go online to brand, band together with other players. And now the launch edition actually comes with a soundtrack CD with 25 musical selections. As for the PS3, the standard edition, it's uh, the same thing. Explore new, uh, the huge new tower of Yggdrasil dungeon. Don't know how to pronounce that. Sorry about that. Unleash exhilarating aerial combat moves. Team up for a two to four player co-op cross play with the PS Vita system. Uh, the PS3 standard edition is also one player, two to four co-op. You require 1,760 megabytes and it runs on 1080p and also interconnectivity between the PS3 and the PS Vita so <clears throat> getting inside let me just open up the PS3 free first now uh, this is an RPG game so and I just uh, roam around in the well, when you enter the battle sequence, you roam around and uh, you know, hack away at whatever monsters you're fighting. Here is the manual. Very thick, colorful manual. What we always like to see. Uh, it seems that the recent up, well, the recent releases nowadays um, have a uh, had a physical booklet for a manual and a guide. I'm not sure what this is. There seems to be... Uh, I don't think this is part of the design. But I think this one just might be slightly defected, defective. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> has the controls, the action buttons, um, what they do, the jobs, so it shows you the classes, Sword Warrior, uh, Hammersmith, Assassin, and these all come in uh, a male and female version. There's mages, clerics, hunters, and I think that's it for the classes. Uh, title menu shows you um, the different things you can do. Character creation, uh, creation screen controls, name entry, title menu again, uh, more things, options, etc. etc. Game progress, accepting quests, clearing quests. So this is an actual old school, very um, very old school guide. It's, the, it's not plain and simply just controls and that's it. Um, it's very rare to see one of these nowadays. Um, so yeah. It actually has a, quite a bit of content. Um, I would say 40, 53 pages worth actually, which is quite a bit. As you can see, it's pretty thick. And here is the game itself. Now moving on to uh, the PS Vita launch edition. For you. So yeah. So 
open from the top. Pull it back. Here's the game. And over here is a soundtrack. And that's it. <coughs> Let's open this up. So, yeah, the soundtrack has, how many songs was it? 25, I believe? Yeah, 25 songs. Here's the list, just reading off some of them. Ace of Aces, uh, This Journey, and Endless Road, You Always Make Me Happy, Endless Thirst for Adventure, etc., etc. So, 25 songs, which is not bad at all. And here is um, the soundtrack itself. Has some nice illustrations on this cover. Not for sale. I'm assuming this means not for sale separately. So, yep, there's a soundtrack. And here is the game itself for the Vita. Very simple. Just a game cartridge. That's pretty much it. Yep, that's it. So there you have it. This was the unboxing for Ragnarok added Odyssey 4. I mean, I'm sorry, Ragnarok Odyssey Ace for the PS Vita and uh, the PS3. Thanks for watching.